Hey guys, welcome back to Northside Reptiles. I'm Andrew and this week we are actually doing a video on turtles. As you can see, the turtles are out of this tank. We actually had a problem with a uh, few of these fish getting eaten. So the turtles are actually gonna go in their own enclosure downstairs in the basement. And this fish tank will be just that, just a fish tank. But this is a very last minute decision and there's some awesome stuff that is happening downstairs so I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's just get right into the video. So guys, this is going to be the new indoor turtle pond. Now the reptile room is just right over here. So it's just going right outside, but this is a massive 150 gallon uh, stock tank. It's actually designed for horses and livestock to drink out of, but they make perfect habitats for turtles. This will give the turtles a lot of room to like swim around. And we'll also be putting a land section on there so that they can get out of the water. And this is a cool idea. We actually have a waterfall that's gonna spill down into this which is really cool. So we just need to fill it and then put the turtles in. We are gonna put uh, an aquarium heater in here, the same one that's actually upstairs. And that will heat the water, so this will be recorded over multiple days, so that's why we are need to do this video now. And there'll also be the same filtration system that the tank upstairs has, except the pump will be slightly larger and it could filter more gallons of water because this is larger than the 125 gallon tank upstairs. Now it is 43 inches wide by 60 and a half inches long and about 21 inches high. Here's the depth of it right now. So we're gonna get this all set up and we're gonna custom make a dock right there. And I thought it would take a quick second to show you actually the stuff we we're using. So this is the pond filter that we're using. It's the same one as the one upstairs in the aquarium. And it works really well. It's made by Smart Pond. It's designed anywhere from 200 to 800 gallons per hour. It's meant for uh, 850 gallon pond outside. So it works perfect for what we're doing inside. This is the aquarium heater that we're using. It's actually designed for just that, just aquariums, but we're using it in a pond, which is completely fine. It is designed for a 264 gallon aquarium. Now, that's big, this is 150, but we don't want to be running power to heat this thing all the time, so it's better to go bigger than to have us uh, spend a bunch on power. This is the pump that we're actually, it's a submersible pump that we're putting in the water. It is still made by Smart Pond. And as you can see, it's made to pump out 630 gallons per hour, which will filter this water about four, just over four times per hour, which is perfect. Turtles are very dirty animals, so you do want to have your water constantly filtered. We might put some little fish in here for the turtles to eat because apparently they love eating fish. So, but they won't be that expensive compared to the ones upstairs. So that we don't care if we lose them and they're not very pretty. They're just designed to feed the turtles in case we're away or they get hungry when we're not feeding them. And we can show you the basking platform that we have later on in the video. All right guys, it might be a little hard to see because I haven't put a light in yet, but this is the placement of our heater. 
We're gonna put it on this side because it's closest to the uh, power bar right here. And this is where the filter will go that will connect to the pump and then the waterfall and the pump is right here. So the, there'll be a little bit of circulation in a tank. You don't wanna put your pump right under your waterfall or it won't circulate all of the water in the tub. So I think we're just gonna go right back into the time lapse and we'll start filling up some water so we can get this uh, heater acclimated because you want to have your heater used to the water before you turn it on or you'll shock the heater and it'll just break. So that's what we're gonna do right now. As you can see, we did put some water in the tank. Now it's not this low when the turtles are gonna go in. We're actually gonna raise the water level a little bit higher. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the water level. We also installed the tubing for the pump as well as the filter. We already filled this with water because it's a pressurized filter. You just fill it with water and seal it properly and then just turn on the pump and it does the rest. Right now we're actually gonna be putting the rocks right here. They're just simple gravel or river rock as you would call it in here just so it will add more uh, filtration to the actual waterfall I guess. So I will just have to go in this very cold water to put that in there and Brooklyn will just hand the stones to me and I'll just put them in and we'll just be doing that. All right, so give you a quick look of what, give you, sorry, give you a quick uh, shot of what that looks like. So hopefully these rocks don't come out, but I think it looks a little nicer and we'll just have to turn this on to see what it looks like. But I will just be staying in here So as you can see, the rocks are allowing the water to cascade evenly. If you don't have this level, the water will focus it to one side and you won't have this even flow. As you can see, it's slightly uh, not even, but we can just change that a little bit, hopefully. And you want this to be as straight as possible so that doesn't happen. Like that. So we'll do, we'll have a chance to make that even before the turtles go in. But I'm gonna get out of the water because it's freezing cold. Oh, didn't see you guys there. Sorry about that. Welcome to day two. We had to take a break because the heater was actually warming up the water. And we still have the hose in here because we're slowly increasing the water level. And we have the basking platform in, and we're just hooking up these cables to the power bar that's actually down there. So I just wanted to show you guys how we're doing that. This right here is a custom made ledge. I uh, did, it's not very good. We'll probably end up by replacing it. But as you can see, it's tall so that the turtles can't get out. It's more like a pen and the heat lamp is it's also attached by a string so we can always lift it up if the temperature is too hot for them. And this is the thermometer for the water. 84.9. We did put in hot water so it's a little warmer than it actually will be. The water is set for 79 degrees. So that's pretty good for the turtle. I was hoping that the cold end was going to be around 80 degrees which I can adjust by playing with the temperature setting on the heater. And this is the ramp that the turtles will be using to go up to the basking platform, but I'll have to zip tie that in later. The drill is actually just charging right now. 
and we tested the waterfall again this morning so that's good but we're just going to hook up the cables now so that the lights can turn on all right so i'm going to have to go in the back to uh feed these cables all the way through Wet and wild. <laughs> it's honestly like a giant bathtub. So guys, I'm gonna do the rest of the video in here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get out. It's actually warmer than I thought. Oh, just sit back, relax. Play with the ramp. Do you want me to get bubble through it? Oh, okay. Now I'm stopping. I'm gonna need a towel, so we'll just cut this. All right, guys, the pond is finally done, and it looks fantastic. We have the lily pads in here, and the exoterra hanging plants that are actually underwater to provide some cover. The dock is in here, so that they can crawl up to get into the basking area. I think it looks really good, doesn't it? We we put the uh, hanging plants around so it looks more pond-like. And we I didn't mention this, but we actually have a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's an, uh, an aquarium fan or circulation pump that's actually circulating the water, so these are moving around. And I think it looks really good, don't you? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. But I think the next clip will be us putting the turtles in because I don't think we're gonna put anything else in here today. We might add some things to the bottom like decor later, but I think right now we're just gonna leave it like this so that the turtles can get out of the tote that they've been in for a few days. Not very happy about this, but it's what you gotta do when you're moving turtles or reptiles around. So I'm just gonna turn on the waterfall so you guys can see what it looks like and hopefully everything goes well and we don't have to change anything. So there we go, we have a little waterfall. So if you guys hear that in the background of another video that I'm taking, you know what it is. And I think it looks really fantastic down here. So we'll just let that circulate for a little while, make sure there's no problems with it, and then we'll add the turtles in. So that's the next clip. So guys, this is the final product. I know in the last clip I said it was the final product, but it's not, we installed this light so that the pond is somewhat illuminated and you can actually see them inside. Kiwi immediately went into the water, so she's in there now. And Squirtle is just relaxing on the dock. Just looking at you guys right now. So we're pretty sure that Kiwi is a girl and Squirtle is a guy. You can definitely tell by the length of their tails. Males have actually longer tails than females. I don't know if you can see the size difference, but females do get bigger than males. So they are 
So basically, Squirtle is already smaller than Kiwi and it used to be the other way around. And they're eating the exact same, so we know that Kiwi's a girl because she's bigger right now. And she's coming up for air right now. All turtles actually breathe air. None of them are like fish and they don't breathe air. So they have to return to the surface to breathe. Now, they might not figure this out right away because it is a new enclosure. As you can see, she's trying to get to the surface right now to breathe and they just poke their head out. They don't want to expose too much of their body because they're vulnerable to predators. And Squirtle is just up here. They haven't got light for a few days, so they might be wanting to stay in, in the warmth a little bit longer. This basking platform is 17 by 24 inches, so it makes the turtles look really small, but eventually they'll get to a pretty good size. They've already grown significantly since they we brought them home. And I'll post a quick photo right now to show you guys the size comparison. Now males will develop uh, larger claws on the front and they also will increase the size of the tail. So it's pretty easy to determine which one is a male and which one is a female. Oh, he scared himself a little bit there. So even though he's not in the water, he will find his way there. Aquatic turtles do love being underwater. And red ear sliders are very curious, so they would really like to explore under the water and like I said we'll put different decor under there so that they can actually uh, hide and explore more. Now you can see on the face, oh maybe not now, but maybe with Kiwi you guys can see the red lines behind their eyes and this is where they get their name because that's where their ears would be and you can even tell by the two pictures that I showed the carapace which is the top of the turtle shell is actually darker now and they'll get even more darker as they age It'll go into a more brown color as opposed to a green when they were born. So this is the first time they've been on a ramp like this, so they might not know what it is. But they do now know where the heat uh, comes from. He doesn't like the, the camera, but... You will get used to it after a while. So there they both are back there. So you can kind of see the size difference. And if I, oh, and like that. So if I pick one up, you can see that the carapace is not green. It still has a little bit of green lines in it. This one's kiwi. And that will go away in time. And the 
Plastron, which is the underside of the shell, has darkened a little bit as well and will kind of darken a little bit more and the dark spots will be begin to fade after a while. And you, for those of you that have pet turtles, you might not know that you shouldn't just drop them in the water. You actually want them to take a breath before you drop them in. So you just want to kind of put them in, let them take a breath, and you want them to go off your hand. Or you could put them on a dock or something, or land so that they can have a chance to breathe before they go into water. Now, red ear sliders are very personable. They do enjoy being around humans. So they do make great pets as long as you can accommodate something of this size. So I think that's it for this video, guys. We'll do an update video later in a couple weeks, maybe. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this new setup new indoor pond we have here and of course you guys can follow us on instagram tiktok youtube facebook we have it all and i will see you guys in the next video see ya